Today I want to talk to you folks about releases. Um, I myself am kind of a Scott or True Fire person. Uh, there's several different types of releases out there. So many options that, I'll be honest with you, sometimes we get confused on what kind of release we actually need. The different types of releases that are out there, you have wrist straps. Let's start with those for example. On a wrist strap, you have single caliper, hinged release, dual caliper, hyper jaws, all kinds of different types. Um, let's take for example right here. This is a Scott Wolf. It is a dual caliber. True center technology can be off a little bit on your draw cycle because you can torque your wrist, you can torque your anchor points, you can start torquing your bow to kind of fit into your peep sight if your anchor points aren't set up correctly. You have single caliper, which in this one here, only one side of it moves. I consider these like half moons. Uh, one side of it, the caliper is straight, the other side is a half moon. And as you can see, it operates independently of itself as well And when it opens up. Then you have hinge releases. Let's look at Scott Archery's uh, new product line for 2020, which would be the hinge release on the Scott Ghost. This just came out this year. Uh, one of their claims on this is that it helps with true center technology. By the way, the hinge actually works. If you pull down on it, obviously the hinge will release and it keeps the string on the center, on the true center line of your draw stroke. If you go over their other one for 2020, which is the Jaws, this one is a dual caliper. Basically what this does is both calipers operate together on a true center line opening to allow both uh, the left and right caliper to open simultaneously upon pull of the trigger. Then you have uh, somewhat back tension. If you're using a thumb trigger, uh, release this is the true fire synapse um, that it's got a half moon uh, caliper on it uh, push the locking mechanism it locks into place I did a video on this a couple months ago if you guys want to go back through our videos you can see how this works uh, push the thumb it opens up the only problem I see with these is the rule of thumb is the V and your uh, forefinger and your middle finger go and split your jawline, but you can actually rotate down, rotate up, rotate forward, rotate backwards, which allows for a lot of inconsistent movement on your anchor points. Even though your kisser button, if you, those that use kisser buttons, or the new Bomar uh, nose button, um, or just a, a copper. Uh, knocking point you can still move this part of your hand on your anchor point unless you practice a lot so that can change some things then you got this is a true fire sear uh, this is a pure back tension release operates off of back tension and you can make the adjustments uh, on your click, no click, a long click, a short click, all kinds of different adjustments on this. And that's the same with the uh, True Fire Synapse. I mean, there's so many adjustments on it that we can get into those later. You go over to another True Fire release that we have here. This is the True Fire X Caliper 2 power strap. Um, this one is a dual caliper. Both calipers operate and open at the same time upon the pull of the trigger. Uh, there's no adjustments on this. I'll be honest with you, I picked this up at Walmart for $9 for this video. It's on clearance. Uh, True Fire Excalibur 2 Power Strap. Um, it'd work in a pinch. Um, so you go through those and you're like, well how do I know? Single caliper, hinge style, dual caliper, wrist strap, back tension, thumb trigger, you know, there's so many out there that it's very difficult to choose. 
let's add some more uh, confusion to this debacle on all of these releases. All right. This one right here has a solid swivel. In other words, it's got a metal or steel post that comes out and the actual release itself where the trigger is actually swivels. So you have a solid swivel right here, a solid post, and then this swivels on that. That probably offers you a little bit of comfort knowing that when this wrist strap is on and you pull back that it will come back and you can hold on to that post and kind of get a true center line on your anchor points. When I use a wrist strap, I like to take my knuckle on my index finger and bury it. There's a pressure point behind your ear. If you bury it right there, that seems to be a good spot for me. Um, come over to the ghost release. That one has a post, but it also swivels on that post left and right and then the actual trigger itself also swivels on that axis now on these new releases scott that came out scott archery came out with for 2020 this has got the fold back design where you can fold it back so it stays out of your way um, that way when you're climbing up into your stand um, maybe walking or something like that you can fold it back and keep it out of the way plus i kind of like that as now you can actually wear your gloves without having to strap your strap around it and always keep your gloves on. That was always a problem with the wrist straps for me. I didn't like that if I put my glove on then the strap had to go over top of it because what happens? That is another article of clothing that I've added to the thickness of how tight my strap can be and how loose it can be. And as we all know in archery, if we change anything from our shots, to our form, to our thickness of our articles of clothing, to our anchor point and whatnot, that changes everything downrange. The further out you go, the further it changes it. Go over to the Scott Jaws. That's also a post with a swivel as well. And it's also got the locking back feature. Um, this was the Scott Wolf. This has got the actual nylon strap, so you can custom tune how long or how short you want that by adjusting the strap by loosening these two allen bolts here and pulling the strap out or pulling it in up to you and then you also have additional adjustments on the post itself it's got uh, four yeah four total uh, five total um, where you can actually leave the post and the nylon strap where it's at and actually adjust the length of the trigger itself or the uh, head itself. Uh, that's going to be the same way with your uh, jaws and your ghost. It's actually got uh, Allen adjustments on the posts themselves to where you can extend or uh, shorten up the posts. On the uh, little goose, I've had this for a really, really long time. It's the same concept as the wolf. It's got the nylon strap and these two Allen keys that you can loosen and then pull the strap in or out. With your back tension and uh, your thumb releases, these two that I have, again, these are True Fire. They have little uh, holes in here that you can put um, some sort of maybe 550 cord or something like that to put it on your wrist if you'd rather carry it in your wrist. but. Um, the True Fire Sear, I do not hunt with. That is mostly a 3D uh, or five spot archery uh, release. The True Fire Synapse, I've hunted the last two years purely and specifically with this. Um, basically, what I do is when I keep this in my pocket, when I get in my stand, get everything set up, I click the button, put this on my D loop, close it up and it hangs on my bow that way when i grab my bow it's already on there ready to go all i gotta do is draw it back so that's releases in a nutshell okay there are plenty of other companies out there i'm not sponsored not promoting anybody or anything i got the new ghost and jaws reliefs from scott i thought they were intriguing to me i'm going to do some reviews on those post those up on our page later i just figured i'd give you guys a look at all the different ones that i have and hopefully this helps you out. 
when selecting your release, it's all personal preference. The new Scott releases are about a hundred bucks. This one I told you I picked up for nine bucks on clearance at Walmart. The Scott Wolf, I think I picked that up for like 60 or 70 bucks. The Scott Mini Goose, same thing, 60 or 70 bucks. Uh, the Drew, True Fire Sea Naps, that was about 240 bucks. And the True Fire Sear was about uh, 200 bucks. There's a price point out there for everybody. There's too many options for you not to experiment and find one that works for you. Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight on the releases. And we'll have more this week on the Jaws and Ghost releases.